Welcome to Taylor Morrison. This video series is designed to make your Taylor Morrison homeowner experience even better. Just follow these easy do-it-yourself tips. They may help you save some valuable time and money. This is your toolkit to help you preserve your home and protect your investment. So let's dive in to some home care highlights. Protect and preserve your home like a pro. In this video, let's discuss maintenance for your doors and windows. Before we begin, you will need the following. A pocket knife, a flathead screwdriver, a can of compressed air, some silicone or Teflon-based dry lubricant spray, some all-purpose household spray cleaner, a vacuum cleaner, a microfiber towel, and a pipe cleaner or two. If you ever notice daylight or feel a draft coming from beneath your front door, it may be time to make an adjustment to your threshold to maintain efficient air circulation in your Taylor Morrison home. Simply open your front door. Remove the protective tabs with a pocket knife to reveal the adjustment screws. With a flathead screwdriver, turn the adjustment screws to raise or lower the threshold until you've established a proper seal against the weather stripping. Swing the front door closed to make sure you haven't over-adjusted the threshold. This may require a little fine-tuning for the desired result. Over time, window and door tracks collect dirt when exposed to weather and traffic, making them difficult to open and close. Simple maintenance will protect the tracks and mechanisms from wear, extending your sliding windows and doors lifespan. First, vacuum any loose particles and dust inside the tracks. Then, use an all-purpose cleaner and bristle brush to loosen soil and mildew. Wipe the tracks clean and dry with a microfiber towel. Treat the tracks in your vertical sliding window with the same solution and wipe any excess liquid away with a microfiber towel. Finally, spray an even coat of silicone-based dry lube along the tracks. What a difference! While you are at it, check the weep holes in your windows for obstruction, spider webs, or insect nests. Give each weep hole a blast with a can of compressed air. Then use a pipe cleaner to clear the entire area of debris. One more blast of compressed air should finish the job until your next round of periodical maintenance. Follow the same steps to clean exterior weep holes as well. To remove your window screens, follow these simple steps. The most important thing is to be very careful when removing them. If you use too much force, you can easily damage your fragile window screens. Replacing them can be expensive. From inside your home, open your window all the way. Push up on the frame of your screen while simultaneously pulling the finger tab at the bottom. Push the bottom of the frame outward to release it from the slot where it was nested. Handle the screens by their frames to avoid damage. Be careful to leave the tension springs intact while handling your screens. Rinse the screens with a hose and nozzle with low pressure settings. Use a mild soap if necessary. Once rinsed, let your screens dry while you clean your windows before returning them back in place. Make sure the tension springs are at the top and the finger tabs face inside when putting them back. Don't pull too hard on the finger tabs, which are very fragile. If a screen becomes damaged over time, contact your window manufacturer or a local glass company to perform repairs or provide replacements. Taylor Morrison Homes inspired by you.